Okay, Amber and Tobacco here with another video. Okay, what boot is this? This is a Wyatt 40. <laughs> Wyatt 40 harness boot with the harness removed. Not professionally, this is done with a knife, you can tell. Harness removed and um, lower to 30 millimeters. So it looks weird, for sure it looks weird. Let me talk about this boot. Found this boot for a steal of a deal via grilled. Uh, reached out to the guy and got this boot. This boot is from 2016. It is lookup color code D1443190. Awesome boot. Like it for a lot of different reasons. You keep the white silhouette and you remove the harness so it isn't as isn't as gaudy of a boot, right? Like this is this is not a boot that is is gonna yell at you by any means, right? And what I love about this is that obviously this will go good with black jeans. This goes good with blue jeans um, as well, like most Saint Laurent things. Um, but it gives me this pure, beautiful, nutty Saint Laurent color without me having to go into the Lucas boot, which is a boot that I personally don't like the way it looks. I think the Lucas boot, that, that Cuban heel boot that Anthony Vaccarello made, um, there's nothing wrong with the boot. It looks beautiful in pictures. Uh, however, I just couldn't imagine rocking with a boot with a, with a toe as pointy as that one is. Um, and that's coming from someone who loves a Wyatt boot. Uh, other than that, super, super soft suede. I made a video about the Nevada boot and the crazy part about Saint Laurent is that the suede on these Wyatts is so much softer than, than the suede on that Nevada boot. Don't know what it is, don't know why that is, um, but it is just the way it is. And I haven't conditioned either boot, right? Like these are not like professionally treated, be softer or anything like that. These are just the way they are. So I think this colorway was made in 2016. If you go on the Saint Laurent website right now, you're gonna see a harness, you're gonna see a Wyatt boot with no harness. That's just like a zip side like this and the zip is um, enclosed. And I believe they make that in a black suede and in a brown suede. Not this colorway, I think this is a little bit different. Um, but that silhouette looks a little bit different. And it's weird because, you know, this is, I think this the, the side the shaft of the boot is taller but the one that St. Laurent has on their website right now is um, a shorter, a little bit of a shorter shaft than these ones are. I went to a St. Laurent store a few weeks ago and they, they look perfectly fine, um, but definitely go check those out in a store if you have access to one. Um, and even if you don't, just buy it online and return it if you don't like it. Like they're, it's a luxury brand. They don't care if you return their stuff within means, right? Uh, but yeah, great boot. Another solid one in my collection. You know. I've got to make a video comparing these boots to the from the first boots uh, because now that I have a brown formerly harness boot and I look at that boot compared to my from the first boots, I can understand why someone would pick Saint Laurent over from the first. Um, and that's a video I'll make a, I'll make a deeper comparison on just on leather quality um, fit, I would say silhouette. I'd say stitching on the on the vamp and on the shaft as you see this boot has, uh, but looking at the two boots, it is obvious that from the first is a cheaper boot. Um, that's why they're able to run. Anyway, I, we'll, we'll talk about we'll talk about that boot in that video. Um, but yeah, these are once again harness boot, formerly, but the harness removed and. Uh, you can you can you really can't even notice it uh, that the harnesses were, were removed even though it wasn't done professionally by any means. End of the video. Check out the other ones if you have more questions.